Greetings. Today is a very special video. Now, this video here, you're going to need to pass it on uh, to your friends. Uh, hit that like button. Share it because this is very a very critical time for my black people. A very, very critical time. Now, we're going to have to make a checklist for what I know. I'm not believing this or not. Uh, taking this for granted. We're talking about the Trump trials. Uh, it looks like the Democrats were uh, upset with Trump's the way he's managing the government, but it was a telltale sign, and I'll tell that to you later, of that all of them all of them is in cahoots together and they're getting ready to move on the black brown yellow red and yellow people when I was studying the uh, King Alfred plan the Rex 84 Plan, you know, I hope y'all know y'all could get that on your YouTube and you need to study. Well, one of the narrators mentioned the term fascism. So I looked that up. It's a Latin word. Round bounds about an axe. In other words, it's a uh, Some kind of border around an axe that you chop wood at or use as a weapon. The ancient Roman symbol of authority. A system of government characterized by dictatorship. Remember Trump said, I do what I want to do. And that's what just happened in the Senate. So, this was in the King Alfred plan. The King Alfred plan is, is uh, outlining martial law. Also, the extermination of 21 million black people, black and brown people. And they want to put us also in uh, concentration camps. So, it's dictatorship uh, using nationalism and racism and military terrorism. This was first brought about in Italy in 1922 to 1943. So it's no more time analyzing or studying up on what they're doing and what they're about, because we, we know what they're about to do. And with this uh, coronavirus, it could be the first step into coming to each neighborhood, quarantining each neighborhood, or taking you to a quarantine facility in the ghetto. So we can't let military evacuations come to our hood. 
Now it's the time to use your inner your inner visions. Keep your healthy. Keep your keep your healthy mind and make right decisions. Health is wealth. Use the imagination to build your world for yourself. Use willpower and determination for a new heaven and earth and a righteous nation. Now we're gonna have to make a checklist. I'm gonna give you a checklist. I hope I can finish it all. This is a checklist list for things you need to do to save yourself from this fascist, fascist government. Black people should not trust government behind what we went through. But you're going to have those that do. There's going to be a lot of brothers and sisters that's not going to stand up for themselves. It's been a psychological study. When I used to take up psychology in school, uh, one of our lessons was that uh, if a crowd of people had gathered and seen a uh, two people fighting, about to kill each other, uh, it was only one or two, two people would step in and stop, or if they see a woman getting beat, only one or two. So you got a crowd of ten. Out that crowd of ten, only one or two people will stop the fight. Or if they see somebody that needs help, one only a uh, out of a crowd of people, only a one person to help them. Just like you've seen this for yourself, you see people videotaping somebody getting jacked up unlawfully by the police or whatever. They'll just take, they'll just videotape it, but they ain't gonna say nothing. Because they don't want to get, it could be a whole crowd of people. Just like when uh, uh, Michael Brown got shot. You know, they just sit, sit, up, sit up there and watch him get, an uh, unarmed man get shot. And then a lot of them didn't want to witness the shooting. And the one and only one or two people could step up to play. That's reality. That's reality. So this is for you brave you you brave brothers and sisters or brothers and sisters that don't want to die or be enslaved. Check check these things that you need to do to save yourself from a fascist government. Black people should not trust this government. In your hood, organize self-defense classes. This might give your scary people a little more courage. Uh, churches should be a place of planning self-preservation. If your church ain't doing that, there's something wrong with them. You don't need to be with them. Self-preservation is the first law of God. Uh, each hood and community uh, should have a planning committee should be a, a center or a town hall for neighborhood organization Uh, block clubs should be formed. Each hood should have a armed militia or a safety patrol. You should have number that, that was number five. Number six, uh, a hood research team in each hood should be they should have people that know how to work that computer to research anything they want to research because that computer is a mini library uh, each hood should have a pigeon coop for homing pigeons to carry messages just in case they cut off the electricity uh, you need to form your own this is number seven you need to form your your own hood coded language just like you just like bloods and the crips they got their own coded language from the police and whatever 
Well, you need to do that for the whole neighborhood. And uh, have a place. This is, yeah, this is number eight. Have a place you can hide your uh, weapons from satellite cameras. Build your own gated communities in your hoods with armed guards and a checkpoint. Can't, don't let nobody in your neighborhood. You know, because this government is corrupt and ain't no documents legit. Of course, it's not legit. They showed you that on that trial. If y'all didn't pick up on it, something wrong with you. Uh, number nine. Drive out all that do criminal activities in your area by picketing the building or house. Now, in Detroit, you know, we had the New Garvey movement and the Black Panthers, and we summoned all the conscious brothers and sisters, pro-black brothers and sisters, to pick it around the dope house. And we informed the police that we were doing it, and the cameras, we, uh, we informed the news. So we, and then we had our own cameras there, and we had about two or three hundred people on that, on that one street. And we identified the uh, dope house and we marched in front of the dope house day and night. Blocking off all traffic, you know, dope traffic and business and the guy had to move. So, this going to be a part two and three before we get back to uh, breaking down how the government, you know, the government is. See, the Caucasians, they already, they already done, 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 done dealt with this. But black people, they ain't, you know, their minds is in uh, foolishness. They don't believe it's going to happen anyway. And the ones that do got a hunch that it's going to happen, they don't know what to do. So, black light is uh trying to help out the situation helping you i'll be helping myself see unity black unity is the key it's a black light says so take stay tuned for part two